Hey guys, Pierce here and today we are going to be doing an unboxing. So we've got the Behringer Zenix Q1002 USB. Uh, it's a mixer and a USB audio interface so you can plug into your computer. And um, I basically got it because my old one here is the uh, Zenix 302 USB and it's just not really good enough for the um, microphone I'm using uh, for like recording wise so hopefully with this you should be hearing some better quality audio in my future videos. Uh, now to get started I haven't actually opened this box so it's like a legit unboxing. Um, a couple of things you can see on the box. Uh, it's 10 inputs, it's got two phantom powered mic preamps. Um, it's got like compressors and stuff but I'm not really that much of an audio genius so a lot of that stuff didn't make any sense to me so there's just a little thing here flap and kind of opens like this um, first thing we have well we'll leave that to the side it's just a box um, and then we've got hard like cardboard foam stuff, just shut that away. Um, we got the instruction manual and a Behringer sticker. And I've got one of these with my um, other Behringer mixer, the one there. Uh, and yeah, just manuals and stuff. Um, more cardboard foam. Uh, now, here's the actual mixer. So you could see that. Um, we'll take a look at that in a minute. We've got another piece of cardboard, and that's it. Um, right, so I guess they will say open the smallest present first. Um, we've got this little box here that it's got tape on the top, but it looks like you can open it from the bottom here a lot easier without having to take the tape off and in here we have got what looks like a power adapter and that is quite a power brick for like a little mixer like this um, it's actually UK style which is handy because of, um, the last one I got actually came with like a European style um, Two prong plug that you yeah, get an adapter for that. So, um, and then also in this box we've got a USB cable. It's um, USB two to B uh, B style connector USB. Um, so yeah, that's it from this little box here. Uh, we'll take a look at the instructions at the end. Now we don't need instructions. Um, We just open hang on the scissors. So just pop out now. Bag. And here is the actual mixer, so um, you're probably watching some uh, shots for now, but uh, basically it's got um, one channel here of mic, another channel here. These are uh, phantom powered, full 48 volts, and uh, that's why it needs such a big power brick, I suppose. Um, but yeah, these two pa phantom power, they're compressed, I believe. Um, so you've got, then you can either do uh, the mic or you can do like a line in from a quarter inch jack. Um, you've got the gain knobs here for the, uh, the two mic channels. There's a compressor knob here um, for both channels obviously. There's 
equalizer channels so we've got high mid and low and they've got like they kind of click in the middle so when you when you twist them they like you feel a click when it's at zero um, we've got a low cut button here now I think that's for if you've got like um, you're recording something that's got like a lot of low like a low buzz in it or something and you want to remove that that'll cut it out potentially um, then you've got an effects knob here and we'll get onto that later and then the pan for uh, choosing whether you want to play the left channel or the right channel more and um, finally you've got the level um, at the m middle it's zero and then native and for the level of that channel and obviously that's the same for that mic channel there um, the next channel we um, we've got line in uh, we've got three four five six seven and eight nine and ten there so there's eight channels there or you, you could use them as stereo if you wanted to either um, then there's FX send I'm not sure what that does because I don't know that much about audio um, then we've got headphones uh, you probably gonna need a quarter inch jack to the uh, eighth inch jack connector if you want to use like a normal pair of headphones for that but uh, you can control the headphone there's, I think there's a knob somewhere on here for the phones control so yeah that's down here um, other than that we've got the main uh, output hit up here for um, left and right stereo sound uh, on quarter inch jacks and um, yeah, I've already mentioned these control room out um, I'm not quite sure about that maybe that's to do with like effects and stuff as I said I don't know that much about audio um, then we've got the two track in and out um, so you can have a send from your computer if you're not using it on USB um, you can have a send from your computer your laptop or like music or whatever in there and out there um, other than that there's a phantom power switch here so you can actually enable and disable the phantom power uh, coming out of the two mic preamps XLR sockets up here um, and obviously if you don't have a phantom powered mic or you're using something other than a mic that's XLR on here then you can uh, keep the phantom power turned on and off like then uh, there's an FX send here um, I don't know much about the effects to be honest uh, then there's like um, options to send to headphones or to control room and then there's to main mix or to um, I think yeah I, I presume it's just to main mix or to headphones and then FX to control room there um, then there's the phones uh, control I presume yeah this is this is for your headphones or for your um, control room depending on which one you're using and this will control the output to that um, and then obviously you've got the main mix slider here uh, and it it's quite like it feels like a you know pretty well built slider you know it's it's not like a, it's not a stiff slider it moves like freely and that um, other than that there's the clipping uh, lights here to show you whether the, uh, like the levels of the mic and then you got the power there to show that the mix is powered and then the plus 48 volts there to show that you've got phantom power um, down on the back uh, there's the power in here and the USB in so yeah in general it feels like a pretty well built mixer it's you know mostly I think this yeah it feels as if it's mostly metal no idea what kind of metal at all um, but yeah all of the knobs and the sliders they feel well built um, it's definitely a recommendation if you're looking for a you know good mixer that's relatively cheap in comparison to mixers for like podcasts or even YouTube what I'm using it for it's it's a very good mixer from what I can see um, so yeah I think that's just about it for this video um, so if you like this video then be sure to give it a like 
if you didn't then dislike and if you want to see more of these kind of videos uh, then comment below to say that you enjoy these unboxings uh, but other than that just subscribe to my channel to see all the videos that are coming up soon so uh, that's it here from me pierce and i'll see you next time bye bye